Oh wow, look at this. It's an old steam train, look at that one. Wow. Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is Astley Green Pit, which closed in 1970. Um, it's now a steam museum. Uh, people are trying to bring it back to its former glory and there's loads here, loads of trains. Let's have a look. This place looks amazing, guys. Look at the old school telephone box there. Look at that, guys. Now, I have been here before. That would have been the entrance to shaft number two. But as you can see, that is really well protected. But when I worked here as a medium um, about five years ago now, up here, was really really active so not sure where those tracks go <clears throat> um, but this area here around this old shaft uh, was really really active so let's have a little look try and find see what we can find up here right, I know nothing about trains guys so if any guys can tell me what that is No clue. So this is here, is where the miners would have gone to work. This would have been the entrance to the, that's the pit head there. And it would have come this way. Uh, I cannot believe how brilliantly they brought this back to life, to be honest. Um, Fair play to them, so this is where they would have walked up. <clears throat> we had some good activity in here as well. Last time I was working here, paranormal activity. In this section here. And it would have come through here, and I suspect this is a locked door. We can go around the other side to see that. But yeah, that's, that's where the miners would have come. When they were coming into the shifts up this and in through this door which led to the shaft we're going to see the shaft on the other side that is pretty cool right this if i remember correctly is the entrance to the mine to get on top of the mine and we've got loads of like train stuff around here so i'll have a look at that in a minute but if i remember correctly and it was midnight when I was doing this. Last time I was here. Let's have a little look. Should get a decent view up here anyway. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's obviously been made into some sort of remembrance garden for the uh, for the past that uh, man has passed. But you've got the old cage that they would have gone down in. Look, I mean, I know people complain, but. Not their commute, but look at that man. Wow. The old little train track as well. They played into like a flower garden. That where we were before, I would have said the miners would have walked up, that's where they would have come out. They would have come out of that door there. Would have come around here. I presume the cage would have been over there. And uh That's where he would have gone down there. Let's go have a look, a look at that. This is simply stunning. As I say, I live just around the corner from here. I've never thought about doing a video here. But sometimes you 
you miss what's on your your own doorstep, isn't it? Don't you? So that there would have been the entrance to the shaft. You can look around there, that's the railway going down there. That's the engine house where we've been. And that there is the entrance to the shaft. We used to be able to get here back in the day, but not now. It's all capped off, as you can see. And then up to your headgear up there. Apparently, um, this headgear here is classed as at risk um, by Heritage England. And I think it's got a five year plan either to restore it or to uh, take it down. So let's hope that they can restore this. I mean, just look at that, guys. That's history. This is the only remaining intact headgear in the Lancashire minefield. And when you think how amazing Lancashire minefield was and how vast. You can understand that this is part of our heritage, and we need to be saving this. That every possibility, we've got to be saving all this. I would imagine that out there, the original trains as well. This is lovely up here. They've done a really, absolutely fair play to these guys. This is a photographer's dream. This. Um, look at that. That clearly is an original train. Once again, guys, if any of you know different, I'm really, really, really happy to be corrected. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just an Urban X. So. I have to say, by the way, at this point, that this isn't an Urban X. You can actually, this is a, as you can see, they're really trying to restore this. Um, walk through the door, make them a donation. Uh, you can buy stuff at this they've got like a little visitor center so you can buy a mug and or whatever for a couple of quid and help them because they're all volunteers all the guys who work here so i said that's why i was pleased to do ghost hunts for them in the past who knows i might do one in the future in fact i might see about that as i'm here now so watch this space come here at night it's totally different so that's the engine house and the engine would have powered the headgear there. So let's have a look at these stairs. See what we can find in here. Might be able to get a good look of the uh, of the mine head as well. From up here, from up top here. the old entrance to the mine there that goes up there there's the old buildings there on the left is the office on the right there looks like the old showers take you in here in the old engine shed. Look at that guys. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I'm looking at there, but gotta be impressed nevertheless. Picture from the top here. Look at that, guys. Look at the 
shake or I'm gonna do whatever. Oh. Just wow. Another thing I want to point out is look at that tiling, guys. That'll be all original tiling there. Look at that. Once again, uh, I don't actually know what I'm looking at here, but. Please comment in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Here we are guys, we are walking around the old train yard here, which is connected to the to the pit. Uh, seeing that's what they would have put the coal in back in the day. I suppose that is after the restoration. Is that before? Guess so, maybe. And you've got, I would imagine that these are all the engines up here. Uh, imagine an engine there. Oh look, if we've got one of these without the covers on. They're all very well secured with covers on and I can see the guys are really trying to restore this. So, uh, the last thing I want to do is start um, removing the covers. A little walk over here. one of the originals I suppose that's not been regenerated that covers are not taking the covers off not fair on these guys is it well, that's, that looks good there once again we're in the area of Wigan don't know what that is come on guys you guys know more about trains than me. What's that? Um, how did we get in? <laughs> Just to emphasise, we're here to take pictures and leave footprints, nothing else. It's a little bit torturous, this isn't it, worth being under covers. <laughs> Let's have a look if I can find one. Alright guys, I keep finding all these trains and I have no idea what they are. Any ideas what that is? There's loads of them around here, loads of different trains. Any ideas guys? Come across this old steam engine guys. Look at that.
Let's see what you found the front. Got to turn around, sun's behind me, so lots of the trains looking at as well. Look right? at that, guys. Wow. I'm in the middle of all the trains here, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, but I've come across this and I'm thinking this is what transported the miners to the coal face. They would have got in there. Look at that man, that's proper history that. Is what they would have gone to the coal facing. <laughs> that is proper history, that guys. Look at that. Any ideas? Not a clue. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed that. These are some pictures, more pictures that I took. Um, I'm clearly not an expert on mining. I've never worked in a mine. I've just tried to give you what I thought I saw. Uh, please correct me in the comments. Um, and thank you so much for watching and your continued support. Thank you.